And after getting familiar with expression objects, some number and processing order into data and some uh, helpful um, tricks with the trigger bang float object to get the right processing order, I want to show in this video the value. It's another way of using variables in pure data, which is not very often used, but very helpful. So we remember in a message or an object, we can use $1, for example, or $1 and then $2 and so on, up to 9 as placeholder as variables. And when we have the expression object, we remember we can use $F1 added to $F2. That was like placeholder for the variable for the first inlet and a variable connected or related to the second inlet. There's another option, which is way more obvious and way more um, convenient for text-based coding experience people, and it's just using declared variables. In pure data, we can also declare a variable which can be a placeholder for a number. So first of all, we have to use a value and then give the value an argument. Let's say value x. This value x can use print and our beloved button to bang. This value is just a variable x and this can be set to a certain number. So if we bang this, of course, nothing. If we set it to 11, we get, of course, x is now 11. This is another uh, very handy uh, way to use variables in pure data and I really recommend it. So let's say we have a value of x and we want to also declare a value of y and a value of, you guess it, c. Once they are declared, I can use them in expressions as well. x plus y plus c. We make a number box and the bang button. And of course, this is now 11 because that is the last state I set my variables. X, Y, Z, I make the unit larger. And now I just connect number boxes to be able to change my values. Another one, copy paste, this, it's a bit messy. And now we change the X value and we see it's changing 23 to 00. zero. And we make this to 10 and double tap 100 and we get 123 or make this minus 20 and then we get the result change one and here we are this is a very useful way if you for example want to deal with variables um, which are declared or uh, you can change them elsewhere and it's a bit more convenient also very handy is um, you can give them names you can remember for example a value is like first uh, number then of course you have to use this here first number i just quickly erase all of them and you see what happens we set first number to 46 and of course we can execute 46 and then we can add first number to uh, 10 and of course we get 56 and you get it we can also call y and it's still declared value is long uh, you can use shorthand we and that's it so we just uh, erase this this and here we are perfect so now we can set because there are we <laughs> renewed objects so we have to feed them again again 50 and 100 like this and here's our result. So we can always set the numbers without any output and then use those values into an expression. That is a very wise and nice way to uh, work with variables, like you can name them and give them appropriate name. Only please remember, they have to start with symbol, not with numbers, like this one, 
first variable um, won't work. Be careful, always use numbers and don't use spacing. The, num the name of the variable must be one symbol. Like this uh, name of variable doesn't work. Now it's just wrong. <laughs> 